So, hello, Cyberland. My name is Marlon, the channel's Old Fort Hacks, and what we're doing today is we're looking at how square this XY table is to the spindle on this lovely, cheap Harbor Freight XY or um, drill press. As you can see at this end, we're, we're at a setting, right? So let's turn this around because it's easier to turn this whole thing around than do anything else. And then let's swing the dial indicator around. Getting these things to stop at any given place is difficult. And as you can see, oops, the table's out by what, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, almost 45 thousandths. To adjust that, there is a nut at here at the back of the table this rests on. Tripods are such fun at times. There's a nut right back here. I'll loosen that up and turn this. So anyway, my dear viewers, I'm going to go ahead and mess around with this. It's basically a process of taking a reading here, taking a reading over there, saying, oh, ooh, heck darn, and then repeating the process as you wiggle things around. And that'll let me get the x-axis on this squared away. Then we'll come back and look at the y. So I'll be back in a bit. So as you can see, we're about 3,000, showing about, what, 3,000 high here. And then, if we turn it around, hammers, you know, delicate adjustment tools. To the other end, We're running roughly three thousandths high there as well. That's about a half a thousandths over the travel of the uh, table. And that's more than adequate for me. I'm going to set up on the next shot and talk about doing the y-axis. But for right now, I'm reasonably sure that the x-axis here is perpendicular to the spindle axis. So the next shots will be in a bit. I'll be back, guys. So now on to the y-axis. The table is moved all the way out. And we're zeroed up. Now give me a minute or two. And I'll swing this critter around. And we'll look at it on the far side. Okay, so over here on the back side, we're up by about two thousandths of an inch. Am I going to try and fix this? That's a good question. A real good question. The only way I could do that in a rational sense would be to here at the front edge, perhaps throw a very thin shim under there. Maybe even something, I don't know, I mean, is it worth fixing? For what I'm going to do with this for right now, I think I'm actually just going to cheap out and not do that. Because especially since as I slide this up and down the post. I'm not sure of exactly how accurate it's going to stay anyway. So I think I'm going to live with that two thousandths of an inch difference for now and see if it has an effect. As I said, it's one and a half to two thousandths of an inch. And that's just, in fact, as I come 
more on towards center. It's okay, so that actually may be right on. So I think that does it for this episode. I'm going to call this table trammed in. I'm going to call this project with the this little XY table essentially done. I will probably put together one more video and perhaps on the whole process. That's something I'll have to think about. But the conclusion I come to is, are these worth it? Eh. For the 89 bucks that I paid for that thing and what I should be able to do with it, I think they're actually not a bad value. It depends then, of course, on how good everything else you're mounting it on is. But for, I mean, drilling small holes, drilling holes, light milling, it's worth it. It certainly takes a inexpensive tool like this drill press and turns it into something quite a bit more. Anyway. I thank you all for watching. Again, if you like what I'm doing here, please do give me a like. A subscribe would be lovely. And I hope everything goes well with you, especially, yes, no, this is the day before, this is Christmas Eve, so I hope all your Christmas presents are exactly what they you wanted. And I hope you all have good health and all that crud and so on in the upcoming year. Hopefully the next couple of years will be better for all of us. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate you all. Goodbye.